Hey guys, welcome back to LANAP. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you Slido tutorial for beginners. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Slido here? Well, using it is fairly easy, but first things first, you need to have an account with it. So just go to Slido here and basically create your account. So since in this case, I've already created my account and we're also assuming we've already created your account, let's go ahead and start uh, discussing how to start using it. Now, the first thing that you see here in your Slido account is your uh, dashboard, which in this case, it will show you your Slidos. So in this case, if you've recently created some Slidos here, this is where you'll be able to see them. Now, if you haven't created one, it will actually prompt you to create a Slido. But before we actually create a Slido here, let's go and discuss the other options that we could do here. Now, at the top right, if you want to edit your account or your account details, you go and click on your profile icon and basically act as a few things. Like for example, you could go ahead and change your organization settings and billing. You can even do a team management here. You can even upgrade your account. And if you want to see the product news, get assistance or see tutorials or even log out, this is how you access them. Now, if you want to edit your account, you go and click on edit here. Now, when we go to the left side here, we have the following options. We have my Slido, which we just discussed before. Basically, this is your dashboard. We also have our team here, which in this case allows you to see your team members. Now, you can go ahead and invite people by clicking on the invite option here and basically adding their email address and choosing the role. So you can choose guests here. So in this case, just click on continue to send the invite. Now, if you've sent the invite itself, you can go to invitations and see who the people you've actually invited. Now, when you go to analytics, this actually gives you the uh, details about your Slidos. So in this case, what are the active Slidos you currently have right now? Questions that you've added to your Slidos and po poll votes that you have. Now, in this case, uh, we have the uh, following uh, more specific details like the polls with responses, votes per poll, upvotes, downvotes here for your questions. And in this case, you have the engagement score and in this case, the number of created Slidos here. Now, if you want to learn more about Slido, you could go to the tutorial section here and view a few tutorials here, which in this case, they expand on specific features and specific tasks. But just to get you started here, I'll be discussing a few things. So also, if you want to in, uh, further or increase the reach or the capabilities of your Slido account, go, go ahead and add one of the following options. So you have the option to integrate PowerPoint, Google Slides, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, and even Zoom if you want to. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and first create our Slido. Let's go to my Slido here. Let's go ahead and click on the create Slido. And from here, let's go ahead and choose the start date and the end date for a Slido. In this case, you can go ahead and choose the date for, like, for example, maybe I want to start today and end this after three days. So this one is good. Now, we want to give this Slido, name, uh, this Slido a name. So like, for example, let's just say there's going to be a sample Slido. And from here, you could go ahead and change a few things. So for example, uh, in this case, uh, anyone with the code or link can participate in your Slido here. But for now, let's go and click on Create Slido. And as you can see, we now have our first Slido. Now, if you want to uh, edit uh, a few things, like when we go back here, you could go and click on Three Dot Option here, you have the option to edit that. But for now, we are now inside our Slido. Now, in this case, uh, what, do we, uh, what, what are the things that we could do here? So. In this case, uh, you could go ahead and basically add an interaction. So interactions is a good way for you to uh, basically uh, interact with your people. So the people uh, who are viewing this video. So let's go ahead and add our first interaction. So maybe I want to say I want to add a multiple choice here. Let's go ahead and click on this one to add this into our uh, Slido. Now from here, you could go and add your question. So in this case, by the way, if you want to change this immediately, you could go and click on the following a multiple choice option. You can change it to rating, ranking, open text, or word class. Now you could also add additional options if you want to. So maybe I want to say which is the best or is it best fruit. So just say it is going to be apple. This is going to be a mango. And let's go ahead and say this one is banana. Now in this case, you could go ahead and delete you, your uh, options here if you want to, if you're not, if you want to remove them. But in this case, uh, you could go ahead and view this and preview this if you want. Let's go, let's go ahead and click on view as a participant and you'll be able to see what it actually looks like when you're presenting. So either in a mobile setup or in a desktop uh, setup here. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on play here, start interaction. As you can see, it is now playing in here. So in this case, this is what it's actually going to look like when someone actually join this Slido. 
Let's go and click on view as host here. Let's go and po pause our interaction. And uh, yeah. So if you want to edit your poll settings, you can go and click on poll settings here. And you can change, like, for example, if you want to allow them to have multiple options, make a correct answer here if you want. So if you're doing a quiz, you have our poll description if you want to add a poll description. Now, if you want to show or hide the poll results, you can go and do that as well. If you want to add like images here, you could go ahead and do that by clicking on the choose from library option just under add that image. Now, if you want to add a different uh, poll as well, uh, as well here, you go and click on add and choose whatever you want. So for example, you want to add a quiz. Let's go ahead and add a quiz here. Now, you can add your quiz name. You can add your first question, add another quiz questions if you want to. And yeah, so this case is a great free to create questions and Create, and basically create a quiz. So depending on what type of poll you have here, you'll be able to answer, or in this case, give or edit a few settings here. Again, it actually depends on the setting. But yeah, so that's how you add your polls. Now you can add Q and A's to collect questions from your audience here if you want by clicking on the add option. In this case, uh, you could go ahead and uh, keep your ed keep editing here. It will actually leave you to it will leave this specific page here. That's why you need to save it. But for now, let's go and click on keep editing here. But yeah, so in this case, you could go and minimize the sidebar as well if you want. And by the way, if you want to see the analytics for this specific, I'll uh, keep, keep editing this first. And so in this case, let's go to analytics. So if you want to view the analytics for your uh, interactions, this is where you view them. You can even export them. But since I don't have much info, info yet, it's not going to show me any details. Now, if you want to edit these settings for your actual pseudo here, you can go to settings. You can change the name, the start and end date for it the Slater code if you want them to join on that specific or using that code. If you want to join them via link, it should actually show it in here as well. You can also change that collaborate uh, collaborations here if you want to add or in this case, add a co-host if you want. So in this case, it, you can make the uh, share, make this a shareable link instead. And also if privacy here, if you want to hide from search or if you require authentication, some features here, customizations and integrations to further increase the uh, reach or the capabilities of your Slido here. But yeah, so once you've added all the information you want here, you can go ahead and start presenting this. So in this case, you go ahead and click on present and we will start the presentation. It will open up a new tab, which in this case, this is what it's going to look like. So let's just wait for it to load up. And as you can see here now, we are now in our Slido. So in this case, you can go ahead and let the people in your uh, Slido start interacting with this one. They can start voting here. They could also join via the QR code that you see on your screen here and the code that you see or the number of code here that, uh, that you can see. By the way, you could also see the number or the participants at the top right, how many joined actually here. And if you want to move around, you can go and click on the next button here to uh, go to the next slide and basically uh, do the quiz. So since we added a quiz here before. Now, if you want to deactivate the quiz or deactivate your current site, you're going to deactivate poll to stop your poll here. And you could go to your next slide here if you want. But in this case, it was actually pause the whole activity. Now, if you want to edit the settings midway, you could go and click on settings here. And if you want to uh, cop, if you want to copy the join link, the enable audience Q and A, switch to host mode if you want. So in this case, you go and view that. So in this case, it's going to start showing our uh, Q and A here since we added that. And also, if you want to add a new poll, you can click on create new poll here. You can choose whatever you want. So let's just choose multiple choice here, and you can immediately add your content or your um, poll here, which is something really helpful, especially if you want to adapt to what is currently happening right now on your activity. So yeah, so in this case, those are the basics that you need to know here to, in order for you to start using Slido, and that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Yelena app. Thank you for watching.